So far, no lawmakers have opposed to a fourth round of stimulus checks, which is really great news, everyone. There is definitely a lot of progress being made. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's office recently published a series of blog posts. The post showcases positive news coverage of the $1.9 trillion stimulus relief plan. Our lawmakers are now seeing the great impact these stimulus checks have on struggling Americans right now. So if the data is showing that another round of stimulus payments will help the U.S. economy recover, it is very likely that Democratic and Republican lawmakers will want to pass more relief very soon. President Joe Biden's American Rescue Plan was signed into law on March 11th. The relief bill did not pass with any Republican support at all. But before this video starts, the winner of this week's $75 Amazon gift card giveaway is Miss Rosie Sanchez. Congratulations, Miss Sanchez. I will be giving away another $75 Amazon gift card next Friday evening. To enter the giveaway, all you'll need to do is subscribe to my channel, share and like the video, and comment below. Thank you so much, everyone. This Saturday, House Speaker Pelosi's office said in a blog post, Republicans are desperately trying to change the subject. But the American Rescue Plan relief is front page news across Republican held congressional districts. It is very clear that millions of Americans are benefiting from the third round of stimulus checks. Before the third stimulus relief package was passed, many Republican lawmakers opposed a third round of stimulus payments, claiming that Americans did not need any more relief. A grand total of 159 million third stimulus payments have been sent out from the IRS since March 11th. But we still have many Americans who will continue to financially struggle if lawmakers do not pass more relief very soon. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, data was collected back in March 2021, and nearly 30% of Americans came up short when trying to cover household expenses. The direct stimulus payments have helped suppress poverty in the U.S. In fact, a report from the Urban Brookings Tax Policy Center has shown that a fourth stimulus check alone would help about 7 million Americans out of poverty in 2021. All our lawmakers have to do is include a fourth stimulus check into President Biden's new infrastructure plan. The Urban Brookings Tax Policy Center recently told CNBC, housing instability and food insecurity remain concerns for many, and an additional payment could help with both. Studies on how economic impact payments were spent indicate people spent the money on necessities like food, housing, and bills. While President Joe Biden has been discussing a potential $3 trillion spending bill for 2021, the new stimulus bill would focus on helping the economy recover and repairing the country's infrastructure that has been fractured. A large number of our lawmakers, including a group of 21 Democratic senators who recently sent a letter to President Joe Biden asking our president to approve recurring direct payments and automatic unemployment insurance extensions as part of a 2021 stimulus package. And in addition, two months before the American Rescue Plan was signed into law, we had 53 House Democrats who sent a letter to Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris asking for recurring stimulus checks until this economy completely recovers. According to published reports, there are now 74 lawmakers who have joined the push for a fourth stimulus package. House Representative Rashida Tlaib recently reintroduced legislation that would provide payments of $2,000 to every American as a relief measure. Tlaib said in a press release, she was announcing the Automatic Boost to Communities Act, which she has reintroduced along with Democratic House Representatives Pramilia Jayapal. In the last year of this global pandemic, we have seen corporations and CEOs reap the benefits of payouts and soaring profits while everyday workers have been left to scrape by without any recurring aggressive or inclusive financial assistance from our federal government. If the ABC Act were passed, the Treasury Department would cut every American a $2,000 check, followed by a monthly unconditional basic income payment of $1,000 for one year after the end of the pandemic. Wouldn't that be so amazing and helpful to so many Americans? So what are your thoughts, everyone, on Representative Jayapal's proposal? Please leave your comments in the section below. According to a recent poll by the Data for Progress, 66% of respondents prefer to receiving recurring $2,000 payments until the president ends the federal state of emergency. I myself strongly support recurring direct stimulus payments for Americans as well. And it is very possible that our lawmakers will either add a one-time stimulus payment into the infrastructure plan or recurring monthly stimulus checks. Both will help the American people right now 
Advocates representing working families and small businesses support Talib's and Jayapal's measure as a necessary help for Americans who can't survive without continued economic support. Economic Security Project co-chair Natalie Foster said the ABC Act was a critical lifeline for those that the recovery is leaving behind. So I honestly hope that our lawmakers take more action for the American people soon. Or that we restore justice uh, to the Supreme Court. Uh, this is uh, an incredible moment as we uh, introduce the Judiciary Act of 2021. We are here today because the United States Supreme Court is broken. It is out of balance uh, and it needs to be fixed. Too many Americans view our highest court in the land as a partisan political institution, not our Im impartial judicial branch of government. Too many Americans have lost faith in the court as a neutral arbiter of the most important constitutional and legal questions that arise in our judicial system. And I'm disappointed to say that too many Americans question the court's legitimacy. The concerns the American people have about the high court are legitimate and they are well-founded. The court is broken. And make no mistake about it, the court is broken because leader Mitch McConnell, they violated historic norms governing Supreme Court appointments. They created a precedent that the Senate would not confirm a justice to the Supreme Court during a presidential year, refusing to give now Attorney General Merrick Garland. That is the end of the video, everyone. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. I'll do my very best to answer any questions that you may have. Do not forget to enter the $75 Amazon gift card giveaway by subscribing to my channel, sharing and liking this video, and commenting below. Thank you everyone and have a very, very blessed day.